Looks like the Shamrock Shake may have some competition. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Fast Foodie Nation. And not only are we celebrating St. Patrick's Day today, we are also celebrating someone's very special day. Happy birthday, Dad. That's right, my dad's birthday, the dad of the king of the Fast Foodie Nation. What do you call that? Is there a name for the dad of a king? <laughs> it is his birthday today. I think he's 62, 63 years old. Oh, he's getting wow. up there in age. But don't worry, don't worry. I'm making sure he stays on top of it and stays in shape. <laughs> but regardless, what better way to celebrate a birthday and St. Patrick's Day than with some cake? But this is the Fast Foodies YouTube channel, not the Cake Foodies YouTube channel. And while birthday cake isn't too common in the fast food world, but you know what is a very common fast food dessert? Shakes. But since it is St. Patrick's Day, why don't we have something a little bit more seasonal, a little bit more festive? That's why Fast Foodies today, I'm gonna to be reviewing the brand new mint chocolate cake shake from Portillo's. That's right, McDonald's isn't the only fast food place out there with a mint shake on the menu. No, no, Portillo's is stepping into the mint chocolate shake world and boy, McDonald's better watch out because even though I've never had the mint chocolate cake shake from Portillo's, I have had the original chocolate cake shake from Portillo's. And boy, <laughs> that chocolate cake shake that may be one of, if not the best, chocolate shakes I have ever had. And that's saying something. I've had my fair share of chocolate shakes. So uh, yeah, even though I'm not the biggest mint fan, I have some pretty high hopes and high expectations for this one. But as always, there's only one way to find out if this can stack up to the classic shamrock shake. We gotta try it. I got my tasting straw. Oh, and I have to give a big thank you to my mom for picking this up for me. That's good. That's good. Now, even though I've had a shamrock shake, I haven't had it in quite some time. And the reason why it's because it's it's new every year. So, <laughs> they're not new. It's the same thing every year. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so I probably should have bought a shamrock shake so I could compare the two side by side because I think it's been like two years since I've tried the shamrock shake. But all I can say is, this is a, this is a pretty good mint chocolate shake. Now I do wish that the cake pieces were a little bit bigger. There are some in here, but they're definitely more pronounced in the original chocolate cake shake from Portillo's. That being said, you get a real nice blend of mint and chocolate flavors. Mint can be a mint can be an iffy flavor, a little bit too much and you ruin the entire shake in this case. But Portillo's did an exceptional job of balancing the two. You get some chocolate chips in there as well. Mmm. Yeah. This is good. This is good. Dad, if you're here, he's currently uh overseas at work working so he doesn't have access to a Portillo's but yeah, Dad, if you're here, I think you would you'd enjoy this one. And I'm happy to report it does not taste like minty toothpaste. For ratings, I'm going to give the mint chocolate cake shake from Portillo's a 9 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this fun little festive St. Patrick's Day slash Dad's birthday review. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, you got to hit that subscribe button. For my dad. That's what my dad wants for his birthday, for you to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> hmm. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review. I hope this doesn't taste like toothpaste. Welcome back to yet another fast food review. Gabe, where are we for today's fast food review? We are at Dairy Queen. 
Yes, we are outside the one and only Dairy Queen. And the reason why we are at Dairy Queen is because it's a new month. Well, kind of a new month. By the time you're seeing this, it's probably like the middle of the month by now. But here at Dairy Queen, every month they came out with, or they come out with a blizzard of the month. And since on the fast foodies, we're all about reviewing the flavors. We had to come here and check out what this March blizzard of the month is all about. And since it is March, as I just said, well, wouldn't you guess, they aren't quite as innovative as Baskin Robbins. <laughs> no, no chicken and waffles. No chicken and waffles. They went with the safer route, yep. the traditional March flavor, mint brownie. Boom. And I thought that this was actually the same flavor of the month last month that they did for March, but I Or last year. La yeah, that's what, I, that's what I meant to say, yeah. yeah. Last year for March, but I checked my notes and the 2022 March flavor of the month was actually a mint Oreo. Okay. So they changed it a little. Okay. They went with brownies ne this time and yeah. Oreos last time. Maybe next year it'll be like uh, mint. Okay, Reese's, peanut yeah, butter. Yeah, uh, mint and peanut <laughs> butter. Whatever. That's, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see and to make sure they don't miss that on next, next year's <laughs> March. <laughs> what should they do? Smash that subscribe button. Yes, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. All right, Gabe, you ready to find out what this mint brownie yep. blizzard is all about? Let's go, let's all right. go. Let's get into it. We got the mint and then brownie pieces, so. Yep, pretty self-explanatory. It will be interesting to see how this compares to a shamrock shake. Have you had a shamrock shake before? From McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. I think that's mint chip brownie. Mm -hmm. There's I'm, two different things. Yeah, it's not just mint brownie. No, there's a brownie and there is a... It's actually... It's like a... It's... You see that? I don't know, you're not going to really be able to see, but yeah, that, it's, like it's a sliver. Which yeah. is, that's the, the, the chocolate, chips. the chip. And then there's actually like a brownie yeah. fudge. But, I don't know, I wish they almost... I like the fudge better than the chip. I agree. And it's but it's not too minty actually. It's not, it's not. You're not getting pounded. Yeah, you're not getting it's yeah. pretty subtle. So this doesn't taste like toothpaste. No, it doesn't. It's actually pretty subtle. Yeah, I, I I'm very It's not overly that. minty. Mm -hmm. Um which yeah, for me, I mean I'm sure for Parker's a plus. Um Definitely. I mean for mint and then for brownie, I mean I'm getting more chips in here than brownie. Yeah. This I mean the brownies are better. Yeah, this should definitely be called a mint chip brownie. And for a mint brownie, I wish they doubled down on the brownies, got rid of the chips, and they just had bigger brownie pieces because the brownie pieces aren't that big in here. No. And when you, but when you do get one, they are good. No, they they're are soft, good. They are good. But brownie. yeah, um, not bad. I mean, I'm happy that's not overly minty. Yeah. So I agree. I mean, it's not my favorite. I'll be honest, but what are you gonna do? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think I'd still rather choose this over a shamrock. Yeah. Because you get the chocolate. Yeah. Alrighty, let's give this March Blizzard of the Month from Dairy Queen a rating. You ready? On three, two, one, seven, seven and a half. Five. There you go. Two seven and a half from the both of us. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. And you may see a few more Dairy Queen reviews coming right your way if you are subscribed and a part of the incredible Fast Foodie Nation. I mean, who wouldn't be want to be a part oh, of that? Nice. Yeah, Dairy Queen came out with quite a few new items, so stay tuned. And uh, yeah. You'll see those right on your feet. Boom. Mm. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review.